My name is Brad, and I'm going to show you how to calculate your instructional time. Now, you're probably wondering why in the world would I ever want to know how to do that? Well, because in August of 2013, Jeff Johnson, Education Minister, signed a ministerial order forcing school boards to make their best endeavors to reduce teacher instructional time to 907 hours per year. But who's going to make sure they are below 907 hours per year? You are. Grab your ATA hat, grab your calculator, let's get going. Don't worry, it's easy. Step one, grab your timetable. Figure out how many minutes you work per block. This is your instructional time. It doesn't include time like recess and things like that. And there's a whole bunch of definitions on what is an instructional time and what isn't that I'll include in a link to the video. Step two, you're gonna go and grab your division calendar. You're gonna go take a look at how many Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays you work throughout the year. You gotta be careful when you do this because some of them are holidays. I've already done this for Parkland, you can see it there. Step three, you're gonna go and do a little bit of multiplying. Multiply the number of hours you work per day Day, on a Monday, for example, by the number of Mondays you have. Then go through and add the whole thing together. At this point, you'll probably be like, oh my gosh, I'm definitely over 907. Well, that's because you haven't actually done the next step yet. Step four, you've got to divide by 60 because you were in minutes there and now you're in hours. So as you can see in this example, this person is over 907 hours. So what are you going to do if you're over 907 hours? First of all, talk to your principal. They're usually very reasonable and they'll be able to work with you to get you under the limit. And if you're not happy with that explanation, then you can go local office and someone will be able to help you out there. Thanks.